guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Beautiful people, Sherry here from NFGC. Um, so just a quick announcement, uh, I think I'm going to discontinue the zodiac signs. I'm not seeing the response that I was hoping for. Um, so I've done eight signs. I have four more left. So I have Libra, Scorpio, Sag, and Capricorn yet to do. Um, so I'm feeling that it's really not worth my time to, to finish out the zodiacs, um, mainly because um, you know, each reading that I do it takes about two hours to do. Uh, that's because I have to cut and edit um, the trailer, but also the recording time. Some of my videos are over an hour long. So, um, so two hours each times 12, that's like 24 hours of my time that I'm putting into it. And so um, if you were to order a reading like this privately, it would cost $100, right? And so I'm selling them for $11 per unit. And so far, I've only sold 15 units. So in order for me to break even, I would need to sell at least 10 per zodiac sign, right? So yeah, so um, I think the way that, you know, I'm asking you guys to show me if this is what you want. Um, I've actually been dropping in subs. I've lost 130 subs since I started the zodiac signs. So that's a bit troubling to me. So if you want the zodiac sign, um, show me with your with your love. So hit the sub button. If I hit 7,000 subs, I will continue doing the zodiac signs. Um, also, let me know in the comment section below if you would like me to do your zodiac sign. Um, if you're one of the outstanding signs, if you want me to still do the reading, I can certainly do that for you. But yeah, okay. Hello, Divine Masculine. Welcome to this week's Yin reading. So this is going to be for April the 8th until the 15th. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to try a new spread. Um, I think it's called The Machine, and I'm not sure who made it. Um, so basically, let me pull the cards, and then I'll go through the position. So this is my deck. So that's the past, the present, the future, um, the past self, the future self, the present self, um, what the future wants the present to know, what um, the past wants the present to know, um, what the present is bringing in from the past, and what the pe present is sending to the future. Okay. So in the extended reading, which you can purchase below, uh, just follow the link below and I'll take you to my website, um, I'll be doing a past, well no, I, I guess that wouldn't really work, I was going to say I can do a past, present, and future there. So how about I leave the clarifiers to the extended part of the reading? So let me just give this deck a shuffle anyway, and something just fell on the ground. So two cards fell out. So the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so this is an energy of walking away, uh, feeling betrayed by somebody, feeling like you can't trust them anymore. So you're walking away emotionally and um, you're looking to the past to see if something might come back to haunt you. There's a sense of you kind of moving away from something in the still of the night so that you're not caught, uh, but something isn't worth as much as it used to be. So I'm going to take that as overall energy. Okay, so let's look at your present self. The Queen of Swords. So this is somebody who is closed off um, emotionally. They guard their emotions. Uh, they're very intellectual. Um, this is also somebody who speaks their truth. They're not afraid to say what's on their mind. 
So there is an emotional element there, but it's being guarded. It's being withheld. And you can see that definitely taking place with those two cards. Very cold, very abrupt, um, just not having it. Okay, so that's the present self. Now let's look at the present um, energy. The Five of Cups, mourning, loss, pain, wow. That's a lot of heavy energy to be dealing with. Um, you know, so this is, you know, feeling like you want to connect with somebody or that you've lost somebody very deeply. Now, this Five of Cups card showed up uh, twice on either side of the Twin Flame reading. So it was showing up in the near future uh, for the feminine, and I think it was coming in in the past for the masculine. But either way, there's this, you know, deep disconnect felt on an emotional level in the present position. So this energy is what's surrounding you. It's in your vortex, your field, right? You know, that along with the uh, Seven of Swords and Eight of Cups. But the energy you're projecting is the Queen of Swords. It's like you're hurting deep inside, but you're projecting this hard... Um, outer surface so you know the way through this energy is to feel that loss Te uh, tears are like healing rain so let's move to the past the two of fire so this is an expansion an opportunity uh, for growth um, you know this is taking an idea and seeing all the possibilities so that's a really good energy to be to be brought in from the past. You know, it doesn't really make sense that we have this five of cups there. So what the present sorry, what the past wants the present to know is the seven of pentacles. So this is contemplation, seeing where you've made mistakes so you don't continue to make those mistakes in the future. So um the past so this is what the past wants the present to know. Um, that everything that you've considered in the past, um, you've, you've taken all the precautions, um, you've made the necessary arrangements, um, harvest is coming, the, the payoff is coming. You know, it's almost like don't lose faith, you know, the weight is worth it. So you were in an expansive energy in the past and it was during this time of contemplation. Okay, so let's look at your past self. The Page of Pentacles. Okay, well that makes sense. You know, that's taking um, an idea that is going to bring profit and growth and long-term stability and you know sitting down and seeing how this is all going to work right so it's very much like the seven of pentacles except for the seven of pentacles you've already put a lot of work and effort into it this is just beginning that project but there's still the sense of looking through the books and considering your options now this card also talks about commitment to a long-term goal so it's a new beginning so it could be, you know, you need to move or you need to change careers or go back to school. So this is a major commitment. But what you, once you make that decision, you're committed. You're not going back on that. So, so the past, this expansion, this opportunity, this um, door that you're walking through will bring abundance and stability and manifest manifestation into your life. Just don't lose hope. So what does um, the past, what are you bringing in from the past? The Page of Swords. Okay, so this was actually the final outcome for the Twin Flame connection. It was coming along with the, the Knight of Wands. So, you know, there's this energy that was building um, 
the masculine, you know, is coming into this confident energy to, to move forward in order to overcome challenges and obstacles. I mean, see, there's this major challenge there. Um, now, so the energy you're bringing in from the past is another page. We've got two pages here, which is new beginnings, and this could also mean communication. So we've got a page coming in from the past, and then we've got the queen as an overall energy. So this could have to do with communication that was cutting. Um, but, you know, this is like having mental clarity, having an idea that will bring um, profitability, not necessary profitability, sorry, but it will, it's an expansion of the mind as well, right? It's a childlike mind. There's no control over it, so, you know, this is where inventions are, are grabbed from the field of potential. So, you are bringing this mental clarity into the present. And it's this clarity that is causing your heart to break. So, was it a decision that you made? Was it something you realized during that contemplation? During that, you know, there's no movement whatsoever with the page of pentacles. That's a double earth energy, so it's very grounded non-movement. Um, the page of swords is air and earth, so air, um, you know, it's a little bit more freeing, so it's more of the thought, but yet there, there's an earthly element to it, like a grounding of those thoughts. So let's move on. <clears throat> okay, so what is um, being brought, or sorry, what is the future? Wow, the Seven of Swords, same card. Um, you know, so what I see here is a warning um, in how you deal with a situation. You know, um, face it head on. Don't let thoughts get out of control. Don't shut yourself off emotionally. Face things head on. So something's hurting you then speak that truth. You know, if you have a feeling that somebody's betraying you, then chances are that they're, they're not. It's all in your head. However, if you are using your intuition to guide you, then you should probably trust those uh, instincts. But here, it's, those thoughts are coming from a negative place of paranoia, right? You think somebody's going to hurt you or is hurting you. Okay, so... What are you bringing in from the present? Or sorry, hold on. Um, what the future wants the present to know? Ten of Wands. Wow. So here we have growth from the two to the ten. Um, the future is telling you that if this isn't taken care of, that it's going to proliferate into the ten of Wands. So this is collapsing in exhaustion. Um, this is letting things build up to the point where it just crumbles. Right? Your body can't take it, your mind can't take it, you can't take it emotionally. You're just carrying too much of the burden. And this was actually the overall message from the universe for the Twin Flame reading. So put down the burden um, do what you need to release those lower vibrations and look after yourself. So what is being sent to the future? Wow, the yin. This showed up in your present position. So your heartbreak, your pain, your feeling of loss is coming from the fact that you are feeling emotionally disconnected. And the Seven of Swords, this showed up in your past position as well in the Twin Flame. So these thoughts that are floating around in your mind um, are starting to have an emotional impact. And you, eventually it's going to reach a point where you just can't take it anymore. The wait is over. You need to do something about it. So whether that's walking away 
from, you know, the twin flame connection for a little while in order to gain perspective or reconnecting with your divine feminine or even your divine feminine side. Okay, so what is the future self? Ace of Pentacles. Awesome. So the future self, we see this opportunity here that, and it's kind of being reflected in the past as well. So the Page of Pentacles receives this opportunity or, you know, sets that intention um, fully in the future. The, you know, you can see this quantum wave entanglement happening here between the past and the future self. Um, you know, there, it's an almost instant uh, wave collapse function, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's weird, there's no separate um, between the past and the present, or I mean the future self. There, there's like, I made that intention, I com I'm committed and here that seed is planted and from there there's growth, but there's a lot of fear and wondering if this is <clears throat> worth it, right? But it is because they're your divine feminine. And this is the energy that's being sent into the future is this yin. I desire this yin. And then you, you plant that seed. You accept that seed. You know, so the blockage here is the seven of swords as a future. Trust. If there is an offer that's being given to you, trust and receive it. Because if you don't trust it, it will backfire on you. you know? So deal with this energy. Don't close yourself off and say what's on your mind. But do it in a loving way. All right, so let me pull one card. I'm going to use, call it Baron Reed, Enchanted Map. Final message from the universe. So, of course, I'm going to go into the extended part of the reading right after this um, and I'll, I'll um, most likely pull an additional universe card all right so what is the overall nice soulmate oh my god that's beautiful your soulmate that I mean you know they're your soulmate because you vibrate on the same frequency you can feel feel their energy and when that energy is gone, you feel empty, you feel, um, you know, that you have no one to trust, right? So, that's beautiful. Okay, so let me read that, 41. Okay. So, abiding by social rules... Oh, no, wrong one, sorry. Uh, 41. That was actually 11. How strange was that? My subconscious made me go to 11. Okay. Soulmates. Harmonious partnerships, love, friendships, companionships, a relationship fostering personal growth. Right, personal growth. Okay. Um, so the relationship message, consider love in the deepest sense, love so powerful that you will never be the same, regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so that you will finally claim who you're meant to be. Oh, beautiful. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention for you are in the presence of a soulmate. Come to guide you home to the real you. And that's exactly what twin flame connections are about. Authenticity. Helping you find the best version of yourself. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video there. Alright, cheers. Welcome back. So this is the extended part of the reading. I thank you for your order. And thank you, Patreons, as well. You're getting this early. Okay, so I'm shuffling my smaller deck here. And 
So this is the first time I've done this reading, um, so I'm not too sure how many cards I'm going to pull. So let's just for sure pull one each. Okay, so um, the your present self, the Queen of Swords. So this could represent an air sign. We got two um, two air core cards. We have one earth core card. Uh, the Yin is an earth sign. Um, yeah, a lot of earth mixed in with fire. And air. Oh, okay, well, I guess you got all of them. Okay, so anyways, the Queen of Swords. Somebody who ha is cut off emotionally. So let's pull a card for that. Wow, the heart chakra. So the heart chakra is actually more intelligent than the brain. It can pick up on signals um, six seconds before the brain does. So this is where your precognition comes from, the heart. So when the heart is open, it is, it is like, um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is getting all crackly. Um, it is, it receives and transmits electrical magnetic pulses that, you know, is picked up and received. So when you're purposely closing your heart off, you are dimming your frequency. So your twin flame or your soulmate is less likely to pick up on that frequency. So you're actually doing yourself a disservice um, by shutting your, like, you know, blocking your heart chakra. And this is scientifically proven. There's been studies that prove this. Um, okay, so the present energy the sadness that's surrounding you. So I can understand, you know, that, you know, there's this instinct to close yourself off when you're feeling this much pain, especially you know, your heart chakra is wide open, but you're not, you're not expressing those emotions. Now, if you're stepping into this temperance energy, which is being brought into the future, then that's exactly what I want to see. You're, you're receptive you're receiving love. You're open to receiving love. So that's beautiful. This is a closed off heart. This is somebody who's been, you know, traumatized, basically. Okay, so let's pull a card for that. Nine of Swords. So you've been in the mind. You're in, you know, this mental noise is surrounding you. Um, thoughts are surrounding you. You feel that something needs to change. Something has to happen or you're gonna go crazy, right? You need to move forward, right? So the Eight of Cups is actually um, a spiritual journey to discover yourself, your best uh, you know, version of yourself. And you can't find yourself is, if this is what's surrounding you, right? You're closing off your, your frequency. Okay, so um, that's the present. So let's address your <laughs> so this was um, what the past wants the present to know so let me pull one card for that the magician wow so we, there's that wave function collapse <clears throat> so when you have thoughts stirring around in your mind they are just thoughts, right? They're just random thoughts. They come and go. But it takes the magician's focus in order to grasp that idea, to pull it out of the ethereal into the conscious mind. So um, it, it takes active um, power, right? It takes energy in order to, to manifest, in order to be in this state of manifestation. So this is pure consciousness. So your past, this is what your past wants your present to know. Your past wants you to know that you are very powerful like this magician. You have the ability to create the reality that you desire. You have the power, the strength in order to make the decisions that are best for you. You have grown spiritually. Um, that energy that you sent out into the ethereal will come back. Everything will work out the way that you desire. Um, 
and as far as this opportunity, this there's a start here, there's an opportunity, abundance, the windfall card is coming to you. So this is a new start as well with the magician. So the past wants the present to know. So let's address the past. So one card. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still getting over cold. So there you go, the Eight of Swords, mental prison. In the past, you were in a mental prison and you cracked it open, but you're not seeing that. You're not seeing how maybe this was a forced wait um, and it will manifest. <clears throat> so the Eight of Swords, right? So this is an oppressive energy coming from the outside. So something was making you feel this way and you can see that oppressive energy in your present. You chose to walk out that door. You chose, you made that decision based on your, your higher potential rather than on fear. So you walked out that door. You made a decision, a commitment to move forward. So your past self is the pentacle, the page of pentacles. It's new beginning. Okay, so the six of cups. So this card was actually coming in the past position on the feminine side, right? And it was connected to the Five of Cups. Feeling that loss, okay, that's coming from the past, a desire to reconnect. So the past self was sitting down and saying, okay, what can I do to make this happen? How can I reunite with this person? And making a commitment to doing that. I want to make sure you can see these cards. Okay. So this could also mean that you've been thinking a lot about the feminine in the past and reuniting with her. So the warm, beautiful, innocent memories coming from the past. And, you know, that's inspiring you to think long term. All right. So what the past wants the future to, no no hold on um what what is being brought in from the past the energy is so the page of swords so that idea that communication ten of pentacles wow so again i'm seeing a wave function collapse that idea comes in it's grasped with the magician and solidified in the mind with the ten of pentacles this is seeing that long-term goal realizing that it is a reality, wanting to find that way to make it happen. And this energy is being sent forward. Beautiful. Oops. Okay. So that energy is being sent forward to the present self who is taking that idea and is feeling that love, that vibration of love is, is making that, mani that manifestation happen for you. You know, there's so much, um, there's a deep knowing, right, that they are your soulmate, but you need to make some changes first. And they're very difficult changes to make. So the future position, let's deal with this. Wow, the Page of Swords again. So same card, same energy that's being brought in from the past is actually accompanying the Seven of Swords in the future. So it's a very positive vibration back here with the Ten, but now it's not so positive, right? This is questioning yourself. Um, wondering if you're the fool, that if you made the wrong choice, um, you know, not dealing with something head on, coming back to haunt you, uh, clearing the air. Yeah, you're clearing, you, there's a potential here of you clearing that air. Okay, so the energy being sent forward, the, temp the um, Empress, 
Wow, the Ten of Cups. Oh my God. This thought of the Ten of Pentacles being sent to the present. The present wakes up and realizes this can happen and this energy is being sent to the future. So the Ten of Cups is the happily ever after. Peace, harmony with your twin flame. So what the future wants the present to know, Ten of Wands. Wow, the chariot. Oh my God, that's crazy because the chariot shows up in the near future for the masculine, taking control of your life. The future wants you to find the will power in order to overcome any challenges. So it's actually, I feel a sense of completion happening. This burden, this feeling that you've, you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders is almost over. Just give it that final push because remember the nine of wands was at the heart of the twin flame reading. You're tired, but it's perspective shift that is required. It's not too late. That seed of intention is being sent to the future. You just need to go after it. The future is encouraging you that the finish line is there, but it requires your will power, your courage, your strength. Okay, and so the future self, the five of wands. Okay, there you go, overcoming those challenges. But this is a self-image card. This is believing, not, not having the confidence. It's, and that self-image card was, you know, the message from the universe, right? You are a beautiful person. You are very powerful. You are loved. You are wanted. Take that opportunity. Right, find that light within. All a matter of perspective. Very powerful reading. Okay, so let me pull one final card from Nissa Mermaid. So this will be your final message from the universe. This one. Jeweled octopus. Okay. A dazzling show of gilded glass can mask the tasteless fowl and crass. Who knows what beastly mass confusion lies beneath such fine illusion? This glitzy, opulent charade, a glib attempt at a masquerade, has fooled a wiser girl than me and left her swimming, lost at sea. Why hope for anything but lies from him, the master of disguise? So right away I'm feeling this, these lies, these, you know, these thoughts swirling around. You know, it's there, it's in your vibrational field. Okay, so a pretty girl shows her attention to an octopus clearly drawn in by the gold jewel and colorful gemstones dripping from his limber frame. So mesmerizing is his costume, she is oblivious to what may be lying beneath the surface. So the meaning is look beneath the surface. Be careful, my friend. Not everything is as it seems. Not all that glitters gold. Nor is every bright bauble the pre priceless treasure it, uh, it at first appears. You may have recently encountered somebody charming whose flashy facade draws people in, but remember that it is all a facade. You must look beneath the surface to see the true value of a person, and like the jeweled octopus, your new acquaintance just might be hiding a dazzling disguise. Okay, so what I feel is that you are questioning whether this divine feminine energy is just a facade or if it's real, right? Are you going to be betrayed? Is it, you know, these are thoughts that are keeping you imprisoned. Is, can this happen? Can this, is this real? Um, and the thing is, you know, you got to trust your instincts, right? Um, you are, you are sending this true love happily ever after, energy into the future so I believe for the 
the main percentage of the masculines out there, this is going to manifest as a soulmate connection for you, but you need to believe it. If it's not real, if you're, you're feeling that vibration, you're making that a reality. Right? You create your own reality. You set the intention, and that's what manifests. So get out of that cloud, right? And stay positive, get control, overcome those, those challenges, right? The, remember, the other message was that it is a soulmate connection, your true twin flame. So don't close yourself off. All right. So gain that perspective. All right, guys. I love you. Cheers.